Hello friends, we are back with another interesting case. This video is about the case Kane Penalpha Limited versus Commissioner of Customs. This ruling is pronounced by the Honorable Supreme Court. The issue involved in this case is if a classification under a customs tariff head is recognized by the government of India by way of notification which is issued at any point of time, can it be made applicable retrospectively that is for a period prior to the issue of this notification. In order to appreciate this ruling, one needs to be aware of the concept of classification under the Indian customs law. So, let us understand the concept, then we will move ahead with the facts of this case. As the international transactions of goods and services started increasing, there was a necessity for proper documentation and identification of the goods and services within a standard system which is followed by various countries across the globe. And this has given rise to the concept of HSN and SAC. With respect to the goods, we use the HSN concept, harmonized system of nomenclature. And with respect to services, we use the concept of SAC, that is service accounting code. How it all started? What is this concept of HSN and SAC? Let us have a look. HSN stands for Harmonized System of Nomenclature for Classification of the Goods in a Systematic Manner. HSN code is a six digit code. These codes are developed by the world's custom organization WCO, which is headquartered at Brussels, Belgium. And this code is considered as a global standard when it comes to classification of goods. A question often arises, is India our country a member of WCO? The answer is yes. It was in the year 1971-72, India has become a member of the World Custom Organization, WCO. And we started using the concept of the six-digit HSN code to classify our goods for the purpose of customs and central excise since 1986. However, the Indian Customs and Central Excise added two more digits to this six-digit HSN code, making it a eight-digit code. And this adding of two more digits is for the purpose of better classification or differentiation. So, presently, if you look at the Indian system of classification, all the goods have been classified using an 8-digit code. In this 8-digit code, the first two digits represent the chapter. The next two digits represent heading and the last four digits represent subheading. Having understood about the concept of classification and the history behind India's HSN. Now we will come to the facts of the present case. In this case, the dispute was regarding classification of electronic automatic regulators. The department contended that electronic automatic regulators should be classified 
under a code 854389. On the other hand, the SSC Kane Penalfa Limited contended that these goods should be classified under the code 903289. So, the issue was with respect to the classification of the goods which were electronic atomic regulators. In the year 2002, Government of India issued a notification dated 1st March exempting these goods from the levy of customs duty and also classifying them under the heading 903289 that is the same classification as contended by the SSC. But the question is whether this notification will have retrospective effect that is can we use this notification for the purpose of classification of the said goods prior to 1st March 2002. The Supreme Court has made the following observations and it has come to a conclusion. What was that? The Supreme Court held that in the given case, the central government has issued an exemption notification on 1st March 2002 and has classified the said goods under the heading 903289. Since the revenue itself has classified the goods under the said heading, this classification needs to be accepted even for the period prior to 1st March 2002. 